Hi students. In the previous class, uh, I discussed about the galvanic cell. So, what is the construction and working of the galvanic cell? In case of the galvanic cell, a device which generates electrical energy by spontaneous redox reaction, where that is called as uh, galvanic cell. In case of galvanic cell, that consists there are the two half cells. One half cell present in the left hand side. Second half cell present in the right hand side, like this diagram. It is an example of the galvanic. The left hand side half cell, okay, this can uh, it is acts as a anode compartment. The right side compartment that is uh, cathode, okay, cathodic compartment. It is called as what is the reaction takes place here? It is called as oxidation of reaction. What is the reaction takes place in the right hand side? Where that is called as uh, redox half cell reaction. Okay, so in case of this galvanic cell, it for example consider the external the EMF of this galvanic cell that is 1.1 volt. That is how much? 1.1 volt. What is the potential uh, developed uh, because of this galvanic cell? We know that in case of batteries are there. Okay, in remote so they are used. The you observe that is uh, nearly that is 1.1 volt, 1.2 volts like that. Generally, in case of galvanic cell or Daniel cell, where the uh, EMF of o, this galvanic cell, that is how much? 1.1 volt. This galvanic cell uh, generally acts as a reversible cell. Whenever this galvanic cell is reversible. Whenever this galvanic cell is reversible. For example, this galvanic cell is connected to, this galvanic cell is connected to one more battery. That is connected to, it is a battery. Okay, battery with uh, external EMF. So it is the here yeah, it is one battery. It is one battery. In this one, what happens? Chemical energy is converted into yeah. electrical energy. So here yeah, this battery, here yeah, galvanic cell is connected to the one more battery. Connected to one more battery. For example, here yeah, consider the what is the battery is there connected to the galvanic cell. It's so uh, EMF, external EMF of this battery is less than 1.1 volt. Here, yeah, this is how much? 1.1 volt. For example, what is the battery is connected to this galvanic cell? Its uh, external EMF is uh, less than this galvanic cell. Less than this galvanic cell. What happens? The cell acts as a vortex cell. The spontaneous process takes place as usual. What is the before? process takes place before connecting this battery the same process will be takes place okay that's why here it acts as here it acts as voltaic cell voltaic cell voltaic cell okay the same as usual well process takes place spontaneous process takes place electron flow takes place from the anode to cathode Current flow takes place from cathode to anode. Whenever it is connected to the one more battery, its external EMF is less than 1.1 volt. That is a one condition. That is a first condition. Here the first condition is the external EMF of battery that is less than 1.21 volt. 1.1 volt. The as usual process takes place. The spontaneous process takes place. The galvanic cell behaves as the same as voltaic cell. The second one is the one more condition. The second condition, if you, if external EMF of the battery is greater than 1.1 volt, that is greater than 1.1 volt. How much here? One greater than. What is the battery connected to the galvanic cell? Its external EMF is greater than 1.1 volt. What happens? Okay, here the galvanic cell behaves as a important that is electrolytic cell. We know that with electrochemical cells are two types. So one is electrolytic cell, second one is a galvanic cell. In case of electrolytic cell, what happens? Where electrical energy is converted into chemical energy. But in case of the galvanic cell, what happens? Chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. Whenever uh, one battery is connected to this galvanic cell, its EMF, external EMF is more than 1.1 volt. Yet this galvanic cell behaves as a electrolytic. 
this government cell behaves as a electrolytic ore at this position where flow of electrons plays in opposite direction in this direction where current flow takes place direction towards in this direction that is opposite of flow, flow of flow electrons that is opposite of flow of electrons okay so that is the second condition of flow, this galvanic cell that is the second condition in the second condition the external emf of flow, battery that is greater than 1.1 volt 1.1 volt where this galvanic cell behaves as a electrolytic cell here it behaves as electrolytic cell here behaves as voltaic cell that means same as voltaic cell here the process of flow of electrons also from okay so these are the directions okay now next to one more condition the third condition is the third condition the third condition for example the external emf of o battery that is equal to 1.1 volt the emf of battery is also equal of this one that is equal to 1.1 volt what happens here whenever it is 1.1 volt where no current flows what happens where no current flows okay so the galvanic cell which obeys these three conditions where the, this galvanic cell is called as so, reversible cell where that is called as reversible the galvanic cells are most cases reversible sometimes they are also irreversible sometimes they are also irreversible okay so here the galvanic cells uh, behaves as a reversible when out they satisfies these three conditions okay then only it is reversible otherwise it is irreversible we know that in case of electrolytic that is only irreversible in case of galvanic in most cases reversible sometimes that may be also irreversible whenever the galvanic if the galvanic cell obey these three conditions so then only the galvanic cell is called as reversible okay external emf is less than 1.1 volt what happens the same process takes place spontaneous reduction redox reaction takes place so that is the behaves as a voltaic cell next external emf is greater than 1.1 volt where that behaves as a electrolytic cell if the external emf is equal to 1.1 volt with no current flows okay no current flows with they are called as so reversible cells okay galvanic cells behaves as a reversible because of oh, these three conditions so which cell obey these three conditions so then the galvanic cell is called as reversible then that is called as reversible okay now next one remember these three points remember these three okay already discussed the flow of the electrons and the flow of current also okay in case of in this condition so what is the flow of electrons and flow of current at this condition flow of direction of the flow of electron direction of the flow of current Next to comparison between electrolytic and galvanic cells. Comparison between 
electrolytic and galvanic cell. Comparison between electrolytic and galvanic cells. What is the comparison of these two? The first one. In electrolytic cell, what happens? In electrolytic cell, what happens? Electrical energy is converted into chemical energy. Okay, note down the first part. When electrical energy converted to chemical energy in this cell electrical energy converted to chemical energy in case of galvanic cell where what happens chemical energy that is converted to electrical energy chemical energy that is converted to electrical energy that is the difference between these two okay first comparison Next to in case of the second one. So here in case of electrolytic cells where anode is anode is in case of electrolytic where anode acts as that is positive or negative where anode is that is positive. positive. In case of electro it is anode is positive. In case of galvanic cell where anode is anode is that is negative anode is negative okay here positive here negative there is a difference in case of electrolytic where cathode is cathode is negative okay where anode is so cathode is cathode is positive Okay, now next one more point in case of electrolytic tank at anode what happens oxidation takes place and at cathode reduction takes place at anode oxidation at cathode reduction takes place in case of galvanic cell, here also as usual at anode oxidation, at anode oxidation, at cathode reduction, at cathode where reduction takes place. Okay, now next one. Next one. Here, these are non spontaneous. Electrolytic is non spontaneous. What happens whenever, whenever electrical energy is passed through electrolytic chemical substance, then only that is converted. Okay, the process of oxidation at anode reduction at cathode takes place whenever, whenever electrical energy is passed through electrolytic tank, then only that's why it is non spontaneous. It is non spontaneous, but it is spontaneous. Spontaneous. Okay, that means when delta C is negative, non spontaneous, so when delta Z is positive. Okay, next one more point it is irreversible. It is irreversible. It in most cases it is reversible, and sometimes also irreversible. Okay. In the most of most cases, reversible. 
that is reversible okay it is irreversible it is most cases that means it is irreversible or reversible okay both takes place next one more point air flow of electrons okay takes place from the uh, circuit to cell flow of electrons air flow of electrons from from circuit to cell okay circuit to cell but in case of air the flow of electrons from cell to circuit cell to circuit because electrons flow from anode to cathode here but here whenever uh, emf is passed through electrolytic solution that's why flow of electrons from circuit to cell where flow of electrons from cell to circuit okay these are the uh, comparisons between electrolytic cells and galvanic cells both cells are called as electrochemical cells where both are called as electrochemical cells okay na okay next one is next one more point representation of galvanic cell representation the representation of galvanic cell okay na so in case of galvanic cell we know that left hand side oxidation where right hand side is reduction left hand side oxidation right hand side that is reduction uh, that is represent generally uh, oxidation of reaction oxidation of cell right hand side reduction of cell okay there are the two vertical lines are used in between these two okay two parallel vertical lines are used in between these two oxidation of cell and the reduction of cell we know that in case of diagram also oxidation reaction uh, diga the contain compartment is in the left hand side the reduction compartment in the right hand side oxidation of cell in the left hand side reduction of cell in the right hand side in between these two there are the two parallel vertical lines are used these two parallel vertical lines so indicates the salt bridge yet it indicates salt bridge okay it indicates salt bridge what is again oxidation of cell reaction oxidation of cell again written as oxidation of cell oxidation of cell okay how can you represent oxidation of cell it is at anode in case of galvanic cell left hand side which one is there where compartment contains the zinc sulfate solution where zinc rod is dipped where zinc rod is dipped we know that whenever that is connected to the copper cell where zinc undergo dissolution where zinc undergo oxidation okay that's why first represent zinc okay zn it is electrode okay next to this electrode undergo dissolution as zn plus 2 as zn plus 2 zn plus 2 okay so this is the representation there is one vertical line used in between these two 
only one vertical line. So here there are the two parallel vertical lines are there. Here two parallel lines so in between these two offsets that represents solid bridge. So here in between these two, so it represents so electrode. It represents electrolytic solution. We know that in the left hand side compartment zinc rod placed in zinc sulfate solution. That's why ZN ZN plus two. These two are separated by one vertical line. Or otherwise, it is also represented as also represented as where ZN present in the which one ZN SO four zinc sulfate solution. Okay, na compartment is which is there zinc sulfate solution aqueous zinc sulfate solution. It is also representation. These two are the correct. Where ZN becomes ZN plus two. Okay, this is the one of the representation. Otherwise, the complete electrolytic solution. That is represents in the bracket. It's so concentration. Other it is aqueous solution. Simply write aqueous solution. Okay, so this is the representation of oxidation of cell. Either this one or this one. Okay, the concentration is there. That is also represented in the bracket. For example, one molar concentration that is represented in this one. Two molar concentration is there represented in this one. Okay, next in case of in the right hand side, which one is there? Reduction of cell. So how can you represent reduction of cell? The reduction of cell. Okay, reduction of cell. In the right hand side, what happens? Where Cu plus two ions in the electrolyte, they migrate towards the copper electrode and discharge as a copper. Okay, that's why in case as a Cu plus two, Cu plus two ions. In the aqueous solution, they become so Cu copper deposited as a copper. Okay, that's why here one vertical line is used in between these two. So this is the notation of O reduction of cell. This is the notation. Simply uh, observe that O Cu plus two becomes Cu. Here Zn becomes a Zn plus two. Here it undergo oxidation. Here it undergo reduction. Okay, the complete form of O Cu plus two. Where copper sulfate Cu. SO4 solution, aqueous solution that is placed in that is with the copper metal, copper electrode. Okay, so it represents electrode. It represents a ionic solution, electrolytic solution. Here it represents the electrolytic solution. It represents a electrode. Simply remember where it becomes reduction. It becomes oxidation. Oxidation of cell, reduction of cell. If the concentrations are so there, they also represents. For example, for this one, if the concentration of it is one molar, where that is also represent Zn, where Zn is so four in the bracket, that is one molar. Okay. Next year, it is also represented as CuSO four copper sulfate. If it is one molar concentration, where copper represent like this one also. If the what is the concentration of electrolytic solution is there, that is represented in the bracket. Or in aqueous solution, simply write it. It's a ion. Okay, Zn plus two, or Zn SO four. In the aqueous solution, Zn SO four is concentration. So this is the representation of O. Oxidation of cell. It is representation of reduction of cell. What is the complete form? What is the complete form? At anode, oxidation. Anode is represented in the left hand side. Cathode is the right hand side. Reduction of cell. In between these two, there are the two. Vertical parallel lines. That is a solid bridge. Okay, only one vertical line is there in between these two. It represents the, the uh, between these two. It is metal and metal ion. Metal and metal. In case of the anode, metal and metal ion. In case of cathode, metal ion and metal. Simply. Okay, this is the these are the representations of oxygen. Substitute these two in this one. Substitute first to oxidation. Next to reduction. Okay, in the above reaction, oxidation of oxygen. What is oxidation? This one. Okay, Zn. Zn plus two. Okay. Next right hand side. Reduction of cell. That is Cu plus two. That is C. It is a complete form of a galvanic cell. In galvanic cell, we know that Zn becomes a Zn plus two. Cu plus two becomes a Cu. There are the parallel salt bridge. It is okay. Next one more form.
ओके असरटनेस जेडन जेडन एसओ4 एक्वियस सॉल्यूशन एंड सीयू एसओ4 एक्वियस सॉल्यूशन सीयू ओके इट इज अ कार्बोनिक सेल इट रिप्रेजेंट्स अ एनोड वेयर इट रिप्रेजेंट्स कैथोड देयर आर द टू पैरेलल लाइंस सो नेक्स्ट वन मोर वन मोर एक्सप्रेशन here zn zn so4 and uh, cu so4 aqueous solution cu in between these two there are the big one vertical line is used here there are the two parallel vertical lines are used here only one vertical line if the one one vertical line is there here the cell is represents so daniel cell with that represents daniel same daniel cell galvanic cell voltaic cell all are the simple examples for the electrochemical cells okay electrochemical cells so what is the difference of these two it it is galvanic difference of these two it is galvanic it is daniel what is the difference process same where zinc becomes zn plus 2 copper plus 2 becomes copper okay at the right hand side it cathode it is anode here oxidation takes place here in this also same process takes place zinc becomes znso4 copper sulfide becomes copper the difference is two parallel line indicates which one salt bridge single vertical line represents porous spot that represents porous spot okay na it represents porous spot that is the difference only single vertical line that means in case of daniel only one container that is separated by one porous spot diagram is like that process is same what is the process takes place in the galvanic cell here also same process takes place here where there are the two separate compartments are there two separate bakers but here only one baker that is separated by porous spot it represents which one salt bridge like salt bridge it is also working as so in this one where zinc sulfate solution with zinc rod your copper sulfate solution with copper rod this two externally connected to some copper wire okay it acts as anode it acts as a cathode same your zinc rod it is a copper rod copper sulfate zinc sulfate so in between where salt bridge is there, is there u shaped glass tube but in case of daniel cell which one is there porous spot is there it is also working same porous spot where it prevents the mixing of two solutions allows ion straight okay it maintains the electrical neutrality what is the working of the salt bridge here also porous spot also uh, works as a same as usual the difference is here two that indicates the this difference okay here salt uh, two vertical lines is there parallel here only one vertical if the only one vertical line is there that is daniel cell there are the two vertical lines are there that is a galvanic cell difference of these two okay that is also important only simple this difference only remaining working is the same construction working everything is the same in case of okay for this one one more example for the galvanic cell one more example is the daniel cell the difference so only this one is here porous spot here salt bridge here one container separated by uh, porous pot okay now so that is the representation of galvanic cell so by this one you can write the equation simply where zn becomes zn plus 2 Cu plus two becomes uh, Cu plus. Okay. For example, one of the equation. Not only one of the example for this one. I will give the notation. Write the equation for the given notation. For this one, equation we know that Zn becomes Zn plus two. Cu becomes uh, Cu plus two. Okay. Now, uh, not only one more notation. And write the equation. I will give you notation for the. Okay, it is a one of the notation for the galvanic cell. It is one of the notation for the galvanic cell. Write the cell reaction for this notation. Write cell reaction for this notation. Write the cell reaction for this notation. We know that whenever representation is given, 
Remember, at anode oxidation, at cathode reduction. Left hand side representation always gives which one? Oxidation takes place. So right hand side that is at cathode reduction. That's why read the left hand side. Left hand side represents which one? Anode. That's why at anode. At anode. What happens? Cu becomes a Cu plus 2. Okay, that's a Cu becomes Cu plus 2 by giving how many electrons? 2 electrons. Okay, right hand side representation represents which one? Cathode. Okay, at cathode. At cathode, what is the reaction? Ag plus becomes Ag by gaining electron. For balancing electrons, yet two electrons are there, two moles of electrons are there. But in this one, how many are there? One mole of electrons. That's why multiply it with two. two. Okay, two electrons, two Ag. So it is a cathodic reaction, it is a anodic reaction. What is the overall reaction? Overall reaction. What is the overall? Add these two. 2 electrons, 2 electrons, these two will get cancelled. Cu plus 2, Az plus, gives rest to Cu plus 2 plus 2 Az. So this is the uh, cell reaction. This is cell reaction for this given notation. For the given notation, this is the cell reaction. That is important. Okay? Okay now, if any doubt is there? Is it clarity or not? Okay, I will continue in the next class. What is the EMF of cell? How can you determine EMF of the cell? Okay, everything. Okay, thank you.